Welcome back, everybody. I'm Gary Glenn. The show is Hall County Sports. And as I told you at the top of the show, our game of the week got lopsided pretty fast. Chester T jumped off to a 21 nothing lead at the end of the first quarter and really never looked back en route to the 49-13 win. Our player of the game was senior quarterback, free safety Scott Tuning, who had a part of three touchdowns on offense, about 250 yards total offense. He also played defense and punted. And don't forget Quan Clark, who also had a part of three touchdowns, including a 75-yard catch and run from Tuning. Quan had 114 yards on the ground, 65 of those coming on a touchdown scamper. The other chance to tee scores came on a short pass to Alex Moore and an 84-yard pass play to Spencer Grunenfelder, as well as a three-yard run by Montre Tate and a 52-yard run by Jordan DeGraff. Leo Molina kicked six extra points and Fani Arroyo won. Chester T at Dawson County. Next, Dawsonville lost to Jefferson last Friday, 35-14. We bring to the show now Coach Stan Luttrell, been with us many times before. And Stan, first of all, uh, and, uh, I thought a really good all-around game. Yeah, I was proud of the way that our, uh, our team responded from the week one loss to West Hall. Um, you never know when you're in that situation, especially with so many – uh, inexperienced guys playing. You know, most people don't realize against West Hall, we started nine guys on defense who had never started a Friday night for us and seven on offense who had never started a Friday night. So we were excited with the outcome on, on Friday night and we look forward to uh, this week against Dawson. And you, you talked about coaches all the time, the, the most improvements you make, game one to game two. Yeah. I think that's exactly what we did. We played much better on defense. We forced um, five turnovers, four fumbles, one interception. And offensively, we had uh, four plays that were 50 yards or more that ended up in touchdowns. So we had a lot of big plays. And it was good for, uh, for Quan to, to have his breakout game because he's just a sophomore. He's got a real bright future if he continues to progress like he has. And then, of course, Scott and, and uh, leading, leading the team. You know, he, tuning, well, he's like Gilliland for the other guys, for, for – Johnson, Scott doesn't come out of the game very much, does he? <laughs> no, you know, Scott's a guy that we can't afford to come out of the game. You know, he's a, he's our leader on offense, leader on defense, takes care of the punting duties. And, um, you know, he is a uh, he is a strong leader, and he's someone that, uh, that that our team follows. Well, let's talk a little bit about your special team now. Molina, I thought, was impressive. Yeah, he, the first two kickoffs he put in the end zone, and, and um, that's a, I think that's the first time he's ever had more than one in the end zone, and I'm very excited about Leo. And then the consistency that he brought to the extra points were important. Yeah. All right. Well, now that you've got this under your belt, you're feeling a little bit better. I mean, after that opening game, you're probably going, wow, I, these kids are really, really young. Yeah, they, I, I feel a little bit better until I look at the remainder of our schedule and see <laughs> all the big guys that we got to play. Yeah. You know, I think we've got to continue to, to come to work every day and, and strive with such an inexperienced team to get a little bit better every day. And, um, and I, think, I think these guys are going to do that. I think they enjoyed the uh, taste of victory that they got uh, this past Friday and, uh, and are looking forward to having that again. Well, of course, that always helps. You know, winning cures a lot of ills. Now, let's talk a little bit about the next one. Dawson County coming up next. I think Dawson County is a very dangerous team. They haven't won uh, a game yet, but they've played some people tough at different stages. They, they had a good showing against a very good Jefferson team last week. Uh, obviously not enough to win, but you know, uh, Coach Jeff Lee's doing a good job over there, and, and, and they're going through some of the same struggles that I know Johnson is going through, but just with some immaturity, young, young guys that are playing much like us. And um, I, I think they're a very dangerous team that uh, we better bring, bring our A game. All right. Stan, thanks for coming in. All right, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it very much. Good luck yep. to the War Eagles the rest of the way. All right. Stan Luttrell, coach of the Chester T. War Eagles. We're back to wrap it up when Hall County Sports concludes.